we are on site here today at the new courthouse in Will County. This project is so phenomenal and I got the two of the key people who are making this project happen. Let me introduce you to the first one. His name is Ray. Ray, welcome. Yep. Thank you. Thank it's you for having, having me. having you. And yep. what do you do here and what is your title? I know you really run the whole project. So my name is Ray Tumanello. I'm on the Will County Board as an elected official. One of the jobs I'm charged with is the chairman of the Capital Improvements Committee. And the Capital Improvements Committee is the one that's in charge of building the uh, Will County Courthouse. So now let me introduce you to Herb. Herb, how are you doing today? I am, I, I am Herb Brook Jr. and I am the Minority Leader Will County Board. I've been on the board for 10 years and even though I don't sit on the Capital Improvement Committee with my colleague Ray, I am at all of the meetings and I, I've been a part of it seeing this project come to pass. Well, I know this is a huge project. Can you tell me a little bit of history, how it came all about, what happened? Well, one day, uh, Ray Tumanella uh, woke up one morning and said, we're going to build a new courthouse. <laughs> we had been talking about it for a number of years, but just so happened we had the opportunity under our chief of staff and our current capital improvement committee uh, chairperson to put some numbers together and start sitting, do some bonding to make this all come possible. We had been talking about it for a number of years, but we found out the right time was about two years ago when we put the bonding program together. Now, now, what is the size of this building? What is the, uh, how big is it? This building is currently uh, going to be 10 stories high when it's complete, about 381,000 uh, square feet. Uh, the existing courthouse, just so you know, was built in 1960s. It's only about three stories, four stories high, only 109,000 square foot. So it's about three and a half times the size. Wow. But the population has grown by over three times uh, the population than in the 60s as well. Yes, well, this is going to be, like you said, humongous. I mean, oh, when I walk into Joliet, you, you can't miss it. So no. it's a phenomenal structure. Yep. Now, what's going on Earth, with the courthouse? I mean, is the courtrooms going to be in one building? Tell me a little bit. No, we have Atlantic, we have Juvenile Court, west side of Joliet across the bridge. And we'll have 10 floors here with courtrooms. But uh, we do have six courtrooms that will not be a part of this project. Okay. And now I know there's one very special area that's going to be built here, which is actually the food court. Oh, yeah. And the general waiting area. Oh, so yeah. tell me what's going yeah. on. Expand it. Right now, if you go over to the old courthouse, you'll see vending machines. <laughs> but we're going to have an expanded food court in this facility, something for everybody. And there's going to be enough room there for all of our guests to get in during your waiting time to make it comfortable and more palatable for your stay there. I love it. I think people are going to be happy to come. I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask another one. Is the circuit clerk office going to be here? Yes, ma'am. The circuit clerk office with currently on the second floor of the old courthouse will come into this with state of the art and we'll have all the technology and, uh, and be able to use all of our uh, technology of the new courthouse. So, yes, she will be here as well. Now, Ray, what is the actual cost of this project and how was funded? Sure. So the actual cost of the 10-story building, the new building here in, in Will County, is uh, we're budgeting $215 million. When we went to the Finance Committee, I know um, Mike Frezzalone is our chairman of the, the Finance Committee, and what he decided to do is put some numbers together, run it through his committee, and he decided that he's able to build uh, this project along with other ones like the Health Department, and yes. he just got done with the Sheriff Station, the 911 building, Animal Control, we're doing quite a bit of products. But we're going to be able to do this while keeping the tax rate lower than it was the year before. So we've lowered the tax rate each of the last three or four years in a row, and we're going to continue to do that even while putting uh, these projects online. Great job on yeah, that. Absolutely. Now, on this project, there was a lot of improvements in security. Can you brief us a little bit? I, I want to let the capital improvement chairman Ray talk about yeah, that. Go ahead, Ray. <laughs> Thank you. So I can't really get into the details of what we're doing with security, uh, but I can assure you and anyone who comes into this building that we are going to have the latest and greatest technology in place to make sure that not only uh, you as an individual who comes in, but if you're a juror, if you're a policeman, uh, everybody's protection will be uh, at the utmost uh, you know importance. However. One of the big changes that we did do in the old courtroom or in the old courthouse, the prisoners, the inmates, the individuals that, that are allowed to have due process, that have to go to the court, they were riding in the same elevators as the judges, the plaintiffs, some of the attorneys, the cops. So what we've done is we've, we've isolated that. So now uh, the inmates or anyone coming for due process gets to go up in their own private elevator, uh, not in the, in the same elevators as the individuals that be, could be handing down the sentences. 
et cetera. So we thought that was an important improvement. But Very as far as the actual technologies that are in the building, I, I, sorry, I can't no, really no, speak about good. that. No, yeah. that's up security. I yep, understand yep, that. Yep. Now, the other question is, there were so many lines that have been doing bad weather. So how is that going to be alleviated now with the new facility? Well, in the in the existing courthouse, you know, there was a, a jam up at the actual machines when you're when you're coming in and you're going through security, and then they would they would have you lined up out the door yes. down the street, and there, it was always raining. Here we will have a state of the art uh, infill system where people will be able to go in, get in the turnstiles under roof, and actually get checked in uh, by multiple individuals through different uh, screening sections. So they're no longer standing outside; you'll be in, indoor the entire time. Great. Now, I go back to you. Okay. Now, what is going on with the parking lot? I mean, I know people always ask, where are we going to park? Where would the parking lot be? Behind us is Chicago Street that runs north and south. We have entered to an intergovernment agreement with the City of Juliet, the Mayor and the Council, to uh, uh, open up Chicago Street South. So there will be parking lot there, and just behind us, south side behind us, is additional parking. So we'll actually have more parking than we have right now. As you know, as the courthouse begins to come together, Ray already mentioned the growth of Will County. We want to be able to accommodate all of the clients and customers that come downtown to this new courthouse. So there'll be additional parking. Wonderful. That's great news for everyone. Yes. Now, one other question for you. What is happening to the current building? What are we going to do with it? So the current building uh, was built almost 50 years ago, right? In the, in the 1960s, it was 50 years ago. And unfortunately, it was pre-internet, pre-wireless, anything. So we're having such a difficult time. You know, How much is it going to cost to retrofit that building? Our consultants and engineers have estimated it's going to be about $42 million just to bring that building into yeah. compliance with today's needs. Uh, and at that point, it was either that or a $1.5 million and we could uh, demolish the building and start new. So we're leaning right now towards demolishing the building, taking it down for the 1.5, and then creating a building that really meets and needs the needs of the, the county today. Uh, right now, if you go to the health department or you go to the land use department, you're in multiple buildings scattered throughout the city of Joliet. There are some opportunities to bring those synergies together, combine some of the operations, and put it under one location just for ease of use and convenience for the end residents. So that's, that's really great. Where yeah, I look forward to a future. I mean, that Absolutely. really is planning everything moving forward. Now, one last thing I've heard, the congratulations are, are on yes. the, because you can receive a new award here, a national award for yes. the design of the building. Tell me a little bit. So we, we were just informed that the, the designers of the building, White and Company, uh, was awarded uh, a national uh, honor architectural for the AIA Association, the Architect Institute of America. They have given a, an award for the, this, uh, the architecture of this building. We should be receiving it, I believe, in New York uh, by the end of the year, but it's pretty exciting. You know, and one other thing, when we talk about awards, awards are great, but one of the biggest things that I'm really interested in, and I get a report every week, is the safety, the man hours. We're 30, 40,000 man hours into this job already. Thankfully, thank God, no injuries. Yeah. And, and Gil Bain has done a phenomenal job. I know we were laughing in the, in yes. the unit. I've got to put the hats and the glasses yes. and gloves and vests and these work boots. I mean, I'm wearing a suit and work boots. That's right. But, but at the end of the day, we want every worker to go home safe. We want yeah. everyone to go home to their family. And uh, Gil Bain has done a great job. So White and Gil Bain have done a tremendous job for the for Gil County. So we have one more area that we really need to understand is there is a process that started and we were going to end. So when did you sure. begin the project and when are we expect to complete the project? Great. Well, right now you're in the command center. So the command center here for Gilbane Construction, they have everything from their weekly meetings to their daily meetings. They get the project started every day. The workers go out, they get the jobs completed. On the board behind you, you have a set of tasks that happen every single day, every single week, and we forecast this out four weeks in advance. Now, we can, it, we're imp it's impossible to know when it's gonna rain, when we're gonna have a cold day, a snow day, a rain day. So this board is constantly in flux, it's constantly moving. To answer your question more specifically, we started the project about a year ago, and we're hoping to finish about September of 2020, pending you know, some harsh winters and some you know, monsoons, but yes. outside of that, we should be finishing about September of 2020. Great, and right now you're on task, so great job, and I know everybody's putting their first efforts for security, safety, yes. so we're looking forward to this project in September 20. 2020, yep, we're, on, we're under budget, we're on time, so let's just keep it that way. That's right, thank you so much. Yep. Thank you.
Now, we have one of the other behind the scenes key players for this project. So give me your name and what your role here in this project. My name is Reagan Freitag. I'm the chief of staff for the county board. There's 26 county board members and I am there for them 24 seven whenever they need me. So I do the day to day operations for whatever they need or any events or any meetings that mm -hmm. they need me to attend on their behalf. So you keep everybody on task, everybody on schedule, and research, correct? I try. <laughs> hey, well, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello to us. Yes. And we look forward for 2020, yes. September, to get this job completed. Thank so, you so much for you. stopping by. We love it.